Hi makers, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra with Sierra's Crafty Creations and in today's crochet tutorial we'll be making these super cozy fingerless gloves. These babies work up so quick making them the perfect make if you are selling things at a craft show or just selling online because they use bulky yarn. Once you get the hang of the pattern they'll be flying off your hook in no time at all. So let's go ahead and jump into all the materials that you're going to need to whip up a pair of your own fingerless gloves. The materials needed for these fingerless gloves is going to be a size 6 super bulky weight yarn. Today I'm using Lion Brand's Woolies Thick and Quick and you're going to need approximately about 80 yards so if you have just one ball of this you'll be able to make both gloves and you will be good to go. You'll also need a 8 millimeter size L crochet hook. Today I'm using my fun handmade gingerbread house crochet hook created by Becky from Clay and Fiber Co. You also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And now that we have all the materials that you're going to need, these are the stitches that we'll be using in this pattern. We'll have a chain, half double crochet, half double crochet in the back loop, half double crochet in the front loop, single crochet, and slip stitches. I'm going to show you instructions how to do both your gloves. So you're going to need a right hand glove and a left hand glove, but they are going to be made exactly the same up until the part where we do our thumb hole. So I will show you all the way up until that point and I'll show you the right hand, then the left hand, and then I'll finish up the fingerless glove. Just beware, you are making two, so just keep that in mind, but they are made exactly the same way aside from where we're placing the thumb hole. So to start, we're going to create a slip knot. You're gonna take your hook, insert into your loop, and tighten it around your hook. And we're going to chain 14, and to create a chain, you're gonna take your yarn, yarn it over your hook, and we're gonna pull through that loop on our hook. So we're gonna pull it through, and that creates your first chain. So yarn over your hook, pull through the loop that's already on your hook, and that's your second chain. And you're gonna do that for a total of 14 chains. And once you have your 14 chains, we are going to slip stitch them together so that they create a circle. What I like to do is take the beginning and fold them in together like this so that there's no tangles. And then I take my hook and insert into the top of the chain here. And then we're gonna grab our working yarn from below. Grab our working yarn, wrap it around our hook, pull through that chain. And we're also gonna pull through the chain on our hook and that creates a slip stitch and creates a circle. And this is gonna be fitting around our wrist. So you can try it on as like a little bracelet right now. We do want it to be a little snug because this yarn will stretch and be a little worn over time. So you want it to be a little snug so it's also not falling off of your hand or wrist either. So that creates our circle here. So now we're gonna get started on our first round. So we're going to chain two, so grab your yarn, pull through the loop on your hook two times for two chains. And we're gonna be creating half double crochets in each chain around for a total of 14 half double crochets. And to create a half double crochet, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook. We're gonna insert into that very first chain, the same one we slip stitched into. So we're gonna insert our hook, grab our yarn, pull through that chain, and you'll have three loops on your hook, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops, and that's a half double crochet. And we're gonna do that for every chain around. So this is our next chain here. Yarn over your hook, insert into that chain, grab your yarn, pull through the chain. You'll have the three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And keep doing that for every chain around and you'll have a total of 14 half double crochets. All right, and I just did my 14th half double crochet and this is what it looks like and I like to just flip it out so my stitches are all outward and this is how it will look. And we have this gap here and so to close this, we are gonna create a slip stitch on the very first stitch that we created. Here's our chain two from the start of the round and that is not gonna count as a stitch so we're gonna go here. This is considered our first stitch of the round and we're gonna grab our yarn, pull through the stitch here and then pull through the loop on our hook and that's gonna be a slip stitch to connect our first round. 
So this is what it will look like for you. It's the beginning of our cuff here. And now we're gonna to move to round two. We're gonna chain two to start just like we did last time. And this time we're gonna be doing half double crochets, but we're gonna be doing them in a different placement. So normally we would yarn over and insert through both loops here, underneath both loops, and create our half double crochet. But we're gonna be doing back loops and front loops. So let me just take this out here. So this is our front loop, the one closest to you. That's considered the front loop. And then there's a back loop. So they create a V and we have our front and our back. So we're gonna half double crochet, so yarn over your hook, and then we're gonna go in the back loop and then finish our half double crochet. And that is a half double crochet in the back loop. As you can see, the front loop is right here and it's untouched. So then for our next stitch, we're gonna do a front loop half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over our hook, go through just the front loop, grab our yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we're gonna keep alternating between back loop and front loop all the way around. So next one, back loop, half double crochet. Next stitch, we're gonna do front loop, half double crochet. And we'll keep alternating until we get to the end of our round. And we've come to the last stitch in our round and we started with a back loop. So we're gonna be ending our round with a front loop half double crochet. And then just like we did with the first round, we're going to go into our first stitch and create a slip stitch to connect our rounds. And for round three, we're going to chain two. And we're gonna do the same thing where we're alternating between half double crochet back loop and front loop. But this time we're gonna start with a front loop in the very first stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, go through the front loop, complete our half double crochet in the very first stitch. And then the next stitch, we're gonna do a back loop half double crochet. So we switch those around, but we're gonna keep alternating. So next front loop, Next stitch will be back loop. So keep doing that all the way around. At the end of round three, we started with a front loop, so we're gonna end with a back loop half double crochet. Go to the very first stitch here to create our slip stitch. And now we're gonna move to round four, chain two to start. And we're gonna keep alternating between these last two rows that we did. So this last row we did a to start with a front loop. So this row we're gonna start with a back loop half double crochet. So in this very first stitch, the back loop only, we're gonna create our half double crochet. Next stitch, front loop. And go ahead and keep alternating between back loop and then front loop all the way around. The end of round four, we started with the back loop. So we're gonna end with a front loop, create our slip stitch in the very first to connect our round, and that ends round four. So round five, chain two, and I'm sure you've guessed the pattern by now. So we started with a back loop in the last round, so we're gonna start with a front loop in this round. So we're gonna do front loop, then back loop and we're gonna alternate between front, then back, all the way around. We're gonna end with a back loop, half double crochet, slip stitch to the very first stitch. And moving on to round six, we're gonna chain two. We're gonna start with a back loop, half double crochet. Next stitch will be a front loop. So this round you'll be alternating back loop front loop. I'm going to be ending with a front loop half double crochet in the sixth round. Go to the first stitch, create your slip stitch to connect, and now we're we'll move on to round seven, chain two, 
we'll be doing a front loop half double crochet in the very first stitch and back loop half double crochet in the next stitch. So in the seventh round, you'll be alternating between front loop and back loop. And this is our last round before our thumb hole round. All right, for round seven, you'll be ending with a back loop half double crochet, slip stitch through the first stitch to complete your round. And so this is what we have so far, and this is going to be like your wrist all the way up until your thumb. So we're gonna do round eight, and this is gonna be for your right fingerless glove. So we're gonna do the right side first, just like the other ones, we're gonna start with a chain two. And we're gonna start with a, a half double crochet in the back loop in our very first stitch. Then we're gonna do front loop in the next, back loop in the third stitch, front loop in the fourth stitch, back loop in the fifth stitch, front loop in the sixth stitch, back loop in the seventh stitch, and front loop in the eighth stitch. So we've done our eight stitches. So now we're going to do our space for our thumb hole. And that is gonna be, we're gonna chain one. So yarn over your hook, pull through the loop on your hook to create one chain. Then we're actually gonna skip this next stitch here, which would be a back loop. And then we're gonna go to the next one, which will be a front loop. So we're gonna create a front loop in that next stitch after we skipped one. So this creates a hole for your thumb. So now we did front loop and we're gonna continue doing our alteration. So the next one will be back loop and then front loop, back loop. And then you're gonna end in your last stitch with a front loop. And that completes our round. So we're gonna create our slip stitch in the very first. And that is our round eight for our right side and you can try it on at this point. You can put your hand in there and get your thumb through the hole there. And like I said, it will be snug. We do want it to be a little snug on our hand and we just wanna make sure that our thumb fits there and we are going to finish the last few rounds of our glove. This is gonna be round eight for our left side fingerless glove. So we're gonna chain two and we're gonna start with a back loop half double crochet in the first stitch front loop half double crochet in your second stitch, back loop in your third stitch, and front loop in your fourth stitch. This is where we're going to stop and make our thumb hole right here. So we're gonna do that by chaining one. So yarn over your hook, pull through the loop on your hook to create your chain. We're gonna skip this stitch, which would be a back loop and we're gonna work in the next stitch, so that will be a front loop. So we're gonna create a front loop half double crochet. There is our left thumb hole. And then we're going to finish out our round. So our next stitch will be a back loop half double crochet, then a front loop, the next will be a back loop, and you'll keep alternating between front and back loops all the way around. You're gonna end with a front loop half double crochet and create a slip stitch to finish your round eight for your left side of your glove. And we're gonna to go to round nine, so chain two. We're gonna start with a front loop half double crochet. Alternate to back loop half double crochet. And keep alternating between front and back loops. And whenever you get to your chain one space, so whether you're doing your right or left glove, whenever you get to this space, we're gonna place a half double crochet around this chain space. So we have our one, two, three, four. So we're doing the left glove, so we should have four stitches. And then we're gonna take our hook, go inside this space, so underneath the bar here, and create a half double crochet. And that 
we just did a back loop. So this would be front loop, but we're doing it around our chain one space. So the next one will be a back loop half double crochet. And then we're gonna keep going front loop, back loop, and you'll keep doing that around. Going to slip stitch to end round nine, chain two to start round 10. And this one's gonna be normal. We finished our thumb hole space and the round after that. So now we are back to our normal rows. So for round 10, we're gonna start with a back loop half double crochet, then a front loop half double crochet, and alternate between back loops, then front loops. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Slip stitch to your first stitch to complete your round. And then we're gonna do round 11, which will be our final round. And in this round, we're just going to chain one to start. And we're gonna place a single crochet around each stitch just to give this a finishing edge. And a single crochet is you're gonna insert underneath both loops, grab your yarn, pull up. So you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. And that's a single crochet. So again, insert at the top of your stitch here underneath both loops, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you're gonna do that on each stitch around, so 14. So you'll have 14 single crochets. And just like all the other rounds, we will slip stitch at the top to complete our round. All right, we're gonna complete our slip stitch here and you're going to grab your scissors. And I like to leave a few inches and then cut. And then as if I'm going to chain one, but I pull my yarn tail all the way through to create a knot and secure it. And you are done with your fingerless glove. All right. And the last thing that we're gonna do is take our yarn and thread it through our needle. And here's a little trick for you guys that I like to use. I like to use my yarn label because I have it on hand, but if you have a piece of paper anywhere, you can just cut a really thin rectangle out like this. You fold it like a hot dog bun. Just fold it like that. You're gonna take your yarn and that yarn's gonna be the hot dog. You're gonna put it through, slide your yarn to the edge there. Take your yarn needle and just thread it through. And you're gonna weave in your ends. So you're gonna take your yarn and I like to go down, then up, then to the side a couple of different directions. And then once you've done a few different directions and it's hidden really well, you can cut off your excess and any other yarn tails, you'll have probably another one down here. You'll do the same thing. Weave in your ends and you are all finished. So this is what your finished fingerless glove will look like on. So we have a little bit down in the wrist and then it comes here and covers our knuckles up here. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to follow along on my channel for more crochet and knit tutorials just like this. And if you want the written pattern, you can check out the link below. I have a link for the written pattern for this on my Etsy and Ravelry shops that you can check out as well. And if you want a matching hat, headband or cowl to these fingerless gloves using the same stitch, I have the tutorials for all of those on my channel as well. And you can check those out below. All right, that's it for now. Bye guys.